All right. The nerds are ready. Oceanborn, just like last week, is going to be your opening battleground. Will it be revenge or is it back-to-back -back championships for Rainer? So far, our prediction game is pretty even. Not too many points yet, though. I guess you guys are waiting, right? Always waiting for the last moment to see who, who looks good in game one. Or see where most of the channel points go to. We can do way better than 1 million points, guys. Let's get it on. Round one, fight. In the bottom right side, we're looking at the main base of the man who has won this tournament more than any other player on the planet. Representing Team Liquid, the boys in blue, the one, the only. Liquid Glam. <laughs> Did not want to play Roddy. Top left side of Oceanborn, the man who is your reigning, defending, undisputed champ of the European Pro Tour Weekly. A 3-0 victory for him in the Grand Finals last week. Representing Basilisk, this is Rainer. Clem is gonna go for a depot on the low ground and the two racks opening. There was actually a funny moment at the big Gabe Cup that we recently had in Germany. Hero Marine organized his own tournament at the Experian, which is a bit of a gaming center where people can buy consoles, hardware equipment, peripherals, and they also have a basement with a bunch of PCs. That's where Hero Marine organized the tournament. Clem won that tournament in the grand finals against Lambo. And lost one game where he opened up with two Rex Reaper. And his dad was in the chat afterwards. Clem's dad is the Gross underscore Papa on Twitch. He's a very big soccer fan. And he asked Clem about two Rex Reaper. And if he thinks it's a good build, I figured that there was a story behind that. Because, you know, normally his dad wouldn't just randomly ask a question like that. And then Clem shared a story that his dad apparently pointed out to him that he very often loses against Zerg when he goes for two Rex Reaper. And Clem's dad does not think that this is a good way to play. Clem is gonna go against the orders of the elderly. And once more open up a two Rex Reaper. Rain has got Zergling speed on the way. Now it's all about not taking too much damage. First Reaper is here early. Low HP Ling so far. Very good micro on Reina's side. Does end up losing the first Ling. Loses the second Ling as well. But losing Lings is always acceptable. Losing drones is unacceptable. Does, does Reina have the grandma buff? No. Reina is currently in the Netherlands. This is the last week that Reina I think will officially be living in the Netherlands. He's gonna pack up his stuff and he's going to move again. You guys know about his dreams of going to Korea for a little while, living like a champ there. Playing in the GSL. Uh, this is his... Oh, Clem loses a Reaper to the Queens. Really wants that low HP Queen that he worked so hard for, does not get it. And Clem loses the first significant unit of the game. <coughs> So no grandma buff for Rainer for a solid uh, week. And then he's gonna go back to Italy and then eventually he will go to Korea. <laughs> Shout out to T Jack for the 37 months. I appreciate it. I don't know what the prediction settled for in the end. It just expired and I wasn't paying attention. Rainer has a Zergling speed, and once the Lynx have speed, they're gonna be quicker than Reapers. Clem, I think, oh, knows that these Reapers is in trouble. He tries to drop a grenade, trying to save them, but he actually bounces his own Reapers back, trying to buy time for the Hellions. First two Hellions are out, but this actually may backfire, because now instead of just losing the low HP Reapers, Clem loses the Reapers, loses the Hellion, and he's in all sorts of trouble. By trying to save the Reapers, Clem just made his own life a little bit worse. In the end, the uh, really boys, as Pig would call them, are pretty damn good. And he only loses two SCVs. Also lost the Hellions, though. Not a good start for Clem. Rainer is uh, sharp. He's on fire. And he is apparently very eager to defend his championship. But uh, did you know about Sarah's military service? Yeah, of course. I feel like everybody knew, no? I don't know why this is suddenly being presented as a fact. 
people have been talking about it for a long time been asking about it Sarah has mentioned it a few times we just still don't really know what it means exactly because it's all kind of vague right I'll try to play Dallas I'll try to play eSports World Cup we'll see do I know exactly how it's all gonna look when will Sarah be available when not no I don't know that do I know that this was coming yeah just like I think everybody else I really don't think we need to talk about Protoss problems when we are watching Rainer Clem, guys. You guys want to talk about Protoss problems? There are three more streaming days coming up where I'll play a couple ladder games. There's no too many delay. And if you guys want to give me all your really bad takes about Protoss, I'm all for it. Let's not do it during Rainer Clem. There's no reason at all to talk about Protoss right now. Clem obviously not happy with this start. He's down 12 workers, had absolutely no map presence at all. But what he does have is two medevacs, a bunch of marines with stim. And we're gonna try to see if something can happen. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. That's fantastic. 50 marines working on the fourth hatchery. Reyna obviously does not want to lose the hatch. The marines turn around for a split second. Reyna is counterattacking, guys, while this is happening. And I'm wondering how Clem is going to react to that. I first want to take a look at these marines and see what they get done. They kill a lot of marines. They are close to killing queens. But now it's Reyna's time to actually kill a bunch of SCVs. That took such a long time. For the longest time, nothing happened. And then all of a sudden, eight SCVs died. So Reyna's counterattack gets eight SCVs. Clem's attack kills a queen, softens up some other queen, softens up the hatch, does not get the hatch. Clem should have listened to his dad. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give your opinion about the end of GSO? I don't know if that's confirmed yet. You're the second guy to ask me about that today. I have not read any statement saying that this is the end of GSL or that the next season is the end of GSL. I, uh, I don't know. Once something is confirmed, I can gladly give my take. I do think it's pretty obvious that GSL has been like losing some momentum and traction for quite some time and it's getting smaller and smaller. I still think there is room for a smaller GSL to continue. I think that would be awesome. I think a lot of people would love it. If it actually happens, I don't know. As Clem is trying to do Liquid Clem things, snipes a bunch of Banes, picks up. Is it because Finland is in the NATO now? No, it was always a thing for Finland. Why can't I bet? You probably live in the wrong country, mate. If you live in the Netherlands, it is okay to lose all your money on sports betting or online roulette and blackjack, but you cannot wager those imaginary internet channel points, sir. Our government makes a lot of sense. Reina snipes a medevac and also opens up the door for a couple of the bailings to connect with Marines. Rain is definitely playing a very good first game. Clemens is not really finding that Clem momentum that he is known for and that we love to watch. I don't think Clem is dead, because I never really think Clem is dead. If like if this is Rainer against Nico Rock, I'm like, yeah, okay. I like Nico Rock, he's a really good player, but he's dead. If it's uh, Rainer against Clem, it'd just be stupid to count a guy like Clem out. What applies to most people and most players does not apply to Clem. But if Clem is in a bit of trouble, yeah, I think we can all agree on that. Uh, the Woodford Reserve, mate. But it's empty. It's gone. I'm out. I do still have one more. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's Jack Daniels that I bought. But that one is close. And it's going to stay close for the night. I had my whiskey. I'm happy. Don't need more than one. Clem throws down a scan and is not going to step on those banes. Rainer is forced to morph a few more. Actually, only has seven banings at the moment. That's not too many. One widow mine shot is sometimes all it takes, and this was a good one. Not game ending, but a very good one. We have more barreled banings over here on the left side. Clem has successfully avoided those. Hive tech is close to finishing up as Rainer is moving into those lurkers. Not yet, Baron. Soon TM, my friend. I wish I could talk to you guys about it, but I can't. <laughs> Rainer uses a couple of uh, veilings to blow up that Widowmite. 
I think he wasn't certain if it was ready to fire or not. Nice snipe on the medevac too. Reina kills the medevac with eight marines inside of it. Now Netherlands also doesn't have uh, mandatory military service. I think a lot of European countries don't. I think way more countries do not than do. Finland is just one of the countries that does. We had burrowed banelings. I saw them on the mini map and I missed it because I was looking at these. And Reina does activate these as well. So Reina gets back to back burrowed baneling connections as he has a monstrous run by. The Widowmine's fire is the 4th of July over here. The tanks do get a couple of very good shots here. So even though Reina has just created a little high highlight reel for himself in the last 20 seconds, he also loses a couple of units. And burrowed a few uh, Zerklings. At the end of that run by, a counter attack even, that was a lot of units. Burrowed banelings on the top side of the map blowing up 12 or so marines. These burrowed banelings blowing up 10 plus marines and then a massive link counter attack that also forced some of the widow mines to do some friendly fire. But Clem is still Clem and he will not back down without a fight. He's kind of broke though, doesn't even have money I think to start up the 3-3 upgrades. 2-2 finished up a little while ago. Clem feels that he needs to prioritize a few more battle units first. A couple of ghosts. Mm. Mm -hmm. Which country pays the soldiers the best? I'm gonna go with America, but I have no idea, man. <laughs> and when it comes to Europe, also no idea. Not, not something that I'm an expert in. Which military pays the best? <laughs> no, sour cream. Never heard of it. Not that much of a whiskey expert. I just like drinking it. Reina activates all three Widow Mines with only three Zerklings in the center of the map. That is beautiful. Clem is obviously not going to be happy with that. But Reina should also bring an Overseer so he can actually successfully clean this up. Burrowed Banelings over here on the left. Lamb is moving his forces towards the top side, so he's not going to step on them yet. Reina needs to be careful because he activated those mines in the center, but he didn't actually kill them. He is now chasing this Terran army far off three. Does have a bigger army, a better army, and now the Overseers show up. As he drops his first Nidus in the back of the third. Clem doesn't really have any firepower there and does not want to give up on this planetary. Clem is playing a beautiful game now, but he's obviously in trouble. He thinks he can just take this fight against Lurkus. But the spiky boys are powerful. Now the Nidus comes online as well. But that one gets denied. Denied. These Lurkus though, they won't get denied. Mm. Yeah, Raider is playing a fantastic game one. But said it before, do not count Clem out. Clem really doesn't need that much. He is forced to cancel this base though. Burrowed Banelings! Clem, I don't think he saw them. There are still Lurkers active. Raider is trying to bait them to step on the Banelings. That does not work. The Lurk is still doing that thing. Burrowed Banelings, round two. Still not happening. I'm getting overly excited over here. Burrowed Banelings, round three. Third time's the charm, baby. Raina gets a beautiful connection as he gets on top of this planetary in the bottom side of the map. Clem is trying to throw down some snipes, pew 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 pew, but it just kind of feels that there is too much Rainer. The swarm is here once more. Rainer will not slow down. Does not have Adreno glands, by the way. If he loses, it's because of the lack of Adreno. Has plus three carapace, does not have plus three melee. He's got plus two missile, plus two melee. Maybe he's doing it on purpose. He's trying to prove a point that Adreno glands is not that important. He thinks it is. I think even without his Reno Glance, he's going to be fine here. The minimap looks perfect. The bank looks perfect. Rainer is in all the right places. Mm. Fires up with Reno Glance now. It's a widow mine shot to the face. Burrows a few more banelings on this ramp. Already had plenty of beautiful connections. Maybe he really wants to win that bonus of the Esports World Cup. <laughs> He's like, if he laser can win $10,000 with a couple of Burrowed Banelings, I'm going to work on my Burrowed Baneling game. And after 14 minutes and 42 seconds, it is Rainer who takes the 1-0 lead. 
Top left side of equilibrium. We are looking at the main base of that record Meister. He's down 0-1. Losing on his map choice. Oceanborn. I think he knows that. That kind of means he has to win this. Because if he goes down 0-2, it's going to be difficult. The one. The only. Liquid Glam. <laughs> Someone said he should have listened to his dad. Two Rex Reaper is just not the way. <laughs> Gross Papa was onto something, guys. Top right side of Equilibrium, we are looking at the main base of the Italian Stallion, taking the 1-0 lead, now winning four maps in a row in the Grand Finals of the European Pro Tour Weekly, Basilisk Rainer. R2-D2 is dead. Slow down, mate. I don't know, like, why you always try to be annoying in my chat. I have not done anything wrong to you. All you ever want to do is whine, complain, moan. Not in a pleasant way. Sometimes that can be pleasant. You're not doing it in a pleasant way. Just chill. Mm. Roddy, why is there a two minute delay on the stream? Because those are the rules, mates. Those are the rules by ESL. This tournament is brought to you by ESL, as you guys can see. And I'm not allowed to show you guys this game, these games if I do not have a two minute delay. Do I believe in aliens? Now that's the question, mate. Uh, there's a Joe Rogan question if I've ever had one. I find it hard to believe that the universe is as freaking big as it is and that we are alone. But do I believe that these like 12 pixel videos indicate that UFOs are flying around? No. <laughs> do I believe we are the only living species in this incredibly fucking massive place that apparently keeps on getting bigger? No. I don't know. Sometimes it's scary and overwhelming to think about. But it just seems that Earth and our little Milky Way galaxy, whatever, Milky Way, so tiny. Some planets are so big, so far away. It seems unlikely, right? I feel like the chance that there is something out there is a lot bigger than that there is nothing out there. Favorite whiskey these days is the Woodford uh, Reserve. Uh, bourbon, but I also love just Jack Daniels. Honestly, I love many whiskeys. I think Blue Label is very nice, too. but I can't afford it because I'm a bum. Streaming StarCraft sucks. Kidding. I love you guys. It's not that bad. Hm. Think Rainer was pissed about Kato? Yeah, that's Clem, by the way, snipes the creep to my dad. That's a big pick off. Of course, the Rainer was very upset, unhappy with the result of Katowice, because honestly, he came in pretty good. Like, sometimes you come into a tournament and you just know that you haven't really done everything that you could have done as a player, but Rainer really did do his best for Katowice, but maybe he just started a bit too late, maybe he got unlucky. Sometimes it's just not meant to be right. And he definitely has a different approach ever since Katowice ended, and it's working out so far, he's been looking really good. But just because he wins four games in a row against Clem, that does not mean that Clem cannot win four games in a row against Rainer. Rainer drops a Roach Warren in the back of the natural. <laughs> Obviously taking the mega base as well here in the center. I think Clem is aware of that, has already scouted it. How was Vegas? Vegas is always awesome, mate. Even if you get wrecked. Vegas is awesome. I love Vegas. I'm already saving up for the next trip. One Twitch Prime at a time. <laughs> flat Earth right now. There's no Flat Earth, mate. Maybe there is one out there somewhere, but not ours. Alright, that's enough. Let's go and see if Clem can do something with his first two Cyclones and the Hellions. Um, once we started playing on this patch, that was kind of fun of this opening for a while. Found a lot of success with it. Slowly, he started using it a little bit less. I think Zerg just got better against this stuff. But he's still willing to bust it out every now and then. It's obviously nice for a Terran to have some real firepower early as he kills the first Ravager. Looking for the second. So close. 1 HP. A 1 HP Ravager. Uh. Beautiful micro so far by Clam, and he's on 42 SCVs. I wonder what Rainer is exactly planning here, cooking here. I mean, he's playing without link speed, so I guess these are just like his safety units, but 
Rain is honestly kind of getting bopped here by a couple of Cyclones. I don't think he's about to die because these units don't regenerate. And that Ravager is still regenerating, but that dies too. I mean, Clem is just flying. Insanely good play by Clem. Mm -hmm. Roddy, if you got to choose which SC2 race to be reborn as, which would it be? If you mean if I can turn back the hands of time and start in 2010 and pick a race, obviously I'd pick Zerk. I'm not that stupid. I know I look stupid, but I'm not an idiot. I'd pick Zerg, and I think anybody who wouldn't pick Zerg is a donkey, but... <laughs> it's okay, I'm a happy Protoss now, guys. It's fine. It's not that bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to match the SC2 races with historical armies. Which one would be your matchups? I have no idea how to answer that. <laughs> that is way too deep. I am very worried for uh, Raynor in this game. I feel like... Uh, his build, whatever he had in mind, is not really working out. I think he wanted to play against literally anything other than those Cyclones that showed up. Now he does have a couple of Ravagers on the other side of the map. Clem is picking up two full mana bags. Like this double drop almost has game ending potential. But obviously if he has that much potential, Reyna should have some potential here. So Reyna will deal some damage. But I feel that uh, a wise man told us a long time ago to never ever base raid a Terran. 16 guys with a gun packed one hell of a punch. Rainer is going to try to do as much damage as a bunch of Stim Marines do, but I just don't really see it. Sure, Roaches, Ravages, cute and all, but look at this tank. This tank is actually controlled by Brad Pitt, straight out of Fury. Clem is holding the ramp as well, and these Marines, they seem unstoppable. Rainer is queuing up a bunch of Roaches. In the end, Clem is forced to pick up these units, but he has killed 27 freaking drones, and the Roach speed isn't even done yet. This was amazing for Clem. Whoever started the never base traded Terran was truly onto something. <laughs> uh, what's it like waking up every day knowing you're the man? <laughs> I've been watching you for years. My room temperature IQ prevents me from playing Starcraft 2, but I still love your streams. <laughs> oh, mate, I do not wake up every day thinking I'm the man, but thank you. That made me happy and that made me smile. I appreciate you. Just chatting says, dude, I get wrecked more in Vegas than the GM ladder. <laughs> you and me both, mate. Playing Starcraft 2 at Grandmaster League level is very easy compared to doing well in Vegas. And maybe if you just play poker, it's not that bad. <laughs> no more poker streams, by the way. There will be some, but it will be on the second channel. I have a second channel exclamation mark second i keep this channel strictly rts or a game that is very close to an rts uh, but i will play some poker again in the future i love poker going to vegas playing some cards with todd really kind of reignited my passion so we'll play some but this channel i like to keep it video games only for now is roddy memeing or has he finally admitted that zerg is okay no I do not say that Zerg is OP, but I do think it's... If you look at the 14-year-old uh, history, and you think of like Broodlord Infester and all the other great Zerg eras, and the potential that Zerg has, saying that you could repick your race and you'd pick Zerg, doesn't mean that you say Zerg is currently in, but it says that that would be a very easy choice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Marine stimming forward, Clem is even in supply. If you're even in supply and you're playing against Roaches, you're obviously loving life as a Terran. The reinforcements have arrived in very serious numbers. Reinforcements have arrived. And Clem says, all right, enough with the 60 Marines. Reyna lands a Fungal, but he doesn't really have that many Ravages to punish his army. The Fungals are very good. This kind of feels inevitable that these tank shots are going to completely destroy these Roaches. And Clem is really not showing a lot of respect to Infestors here, by the way. And he has lost maybe a few more marines than he's supposed to, but the final marines are still good enough. The guy with the gun, pew, 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 picks up a few more ravages. Uh, Reyna obviously is now left with, uh, with infestors that don't have energy. 17 roaches on the production tab. Now if all of those roaches show up, it's obviously going to be okay. I think Clam is very close to doing what a lot of Terran players will tell you is not possible. And that is winning on Equilibrium. 
Raider's got Hive Tech now. I don't think he really has time to build Vipers. <laughs> he might try, but he's got no gas. He even has a very rich recipe in Geyser. As Ben would call it. Nice snipe on one of those tanks here at the edge. <laughs> More reinforcements have arrived. Round two. Should make it happen once, uh, Chess. Honestly, you should tell take. Nice fungo here by Rainer. Back to back amazing fungos. Rainer is really making a lot of magic work here. Now Clem actually doesn't have too many Marines left. That's probably somewhat of a scary moment for him. Clem also never fired up 3-3 upgrades. He's just putting all of his money into units. I still think that this game is looking incredibly good for Clem, but Clem may need to stop eating the biggest fungos possible. You know, if the fungo connects with a couple of your Marines, it's okay. They keep on connecting with the maximum amount of Marines is probably not okay. Reina cannot really get up this ramp. Drops an Ultralisk Cavern right now. Is that cope, guys? Can we get Ultras out? Is there a world where he gets Ultras out? Splits off a couple of roaches, picking up reinforcements. If Reina lives to get Ultras, I'd be so impressed. Doing a really good job right now with just a couple of units in the center of the map. Clem says, nope, you do that. I'm just going to grab a few more. Rainer now feels that this is the moment to finally get on top of these three tanks. And he gets all three of them. Patrick. That's actually sick. I mean, Rainer is doing so good here with units that I feel like shouldn't do that good. And it's not like his roaches have an upgrade lead, by the way, guys. Plus one <laughs> missile attacks. Plus one carapace against 2-2 two, two bio and tanks. And even the tanks have plus one. Rain is still shocking the center of the map with the roaches. It is a very big map. That Ultralisk Cavern is done now. But obviously Ultras are expensive and are not that fantastic until you get kindness plating. Clem is now uh, is like, all right. Man, apparently it's very hard to kill this Italian boy when he's feeling it. He's dropping two more command centers. He did fire up the 3-3 upgrades. And getting concussive shells as well. You guys say the Reaper is still alive. Apparently he died in the last two minutes. I didn't see that. Rainer, did he have any vision of this double drop? He's moving some units, so I guess he saw it. Maybe he just saw it now with the uh, edge of creep. Oh, that queen. Ultra's on the way. Kindness playing gets fired up. I am incredibly impressed. Do I think that, uh, that Rainer is out of trouble now? No, I absolutely do not think that Rainer is out of trouble. But it is impressive. Very, very impressive that Rainer is here. Fungo, boom, boom. Couple of corrosive balls. One of them connects with the medevac. Not good enough to kill it, though. Even Ultras are not just going to win this game because I don't think you can just shove a couple Ultras down the center of this map, run through Liberators, Ghosts, and Tanks, etc. But I think Rainer will at least create a lot of time for himself. And then you get some Bailings. Link speed finishing up, guys. 14 minutes into the game. It's very impressive what Rainer has done. Will he be rewarded for all his hard work? That is the real question. Next patch, the burrowed in, uh, infestors are going to be a lot more visible. Infestors, but on burrow. Wow, Clem so quick. So quick. Throws on the skin. Bam. One shot. Well, many shots, but. Sick performance. These kids are gaming. The year is 2024 and we are still playing the StarCraft 2 video game at an incredibly high level. Reyna wins this game, he's going to 3-0 Clem. It's like, I want to say yes and no. Yes, because it would be so crazy to actually win this game from the position that he was in. I would say no, because this is equilibrium and he's supposed to win this game. Uh, I'm not sure what Clem did there with the Medivax, but he kind of left all of the bio units behind. Clem still at 110 supplies. He got 3 3 bio now. We've got a ghost count. That's kind of serious, right? 11. Locklock saying Reyna is playing this very well, but he's still dead. I wonder how you'd feel about the statement two minutes into the future. Because I felt the same two minutes ago. And now I'm starting to think, like, is there a world where he actually does win? Like, he's got money in the bank, he's got some gas, he's got ultras. He's going to close that upgrade deficit. I still like it for Clem, but I keep on saying that. Eventually, I'm going to have to stop liking it for Clem, right? 
Unless he just wins, then I can say I like it for them all along. Reina splitting up some roaches, will get one of the tanks, does not get the tech lab, so Drilling Claw is going to finish up. We have our man Mango Marsh in the chat, celebrating the lack of Widow Mines. Well, sir, you are, uh, I guess, about to become a sad man. Because five Widow Mines with Drilling Claws are out, and probably a whole lot more to come. Hmm. Clem throwing down two scans and he misses the infester. Poor guy. Rainer following Lambo's advice of taking out some rocks. Lambo's a very smart guy. Game slowing down a tiny bit. Both players are maxed out. Clem probably just does not want to get fungled. I mean, can't say that Clem didn't try to end it. He absolutely did try to end it. Just couldn't. Rainer, too good in the face of adversity. That's love that links. 16 links dying real quick. As Rainer spotted that widow mine, drops Kurosawa, does kill it. Five more command centers. Clem just throwing down random scans, and now the widow mine killed the observer. We have wars in the sky, we have wars on the ground, and now we've got wars underneath the ground as well. Mm. That's very weird. Uh, Kaido's Tommy. I don't know what you're trying to accomplish there, mate, but I don't like it. Big snipes happening. Rainer has Ultras Melt. He's going to remax on 44 Zerg links. On Lewis Hamilton amount of links. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Such a bizarre Twitch interaction slash behavior. Kaido's Tommy is just having a conversation to himself at the moment, guys. This is like, it's a shame, but real. When Mac Packs, not Max Packs, but Mac Packs, plays against top player, he loses. He lost to Rainer last week, too. Thumbs down for Max Packs. I hope you're reading this, Max Packs. You need to practice more. Like, do you guys think that this is serious, or like, how should I address this? Someone is just shouting to himself in Twitch chat about Max Packs, even though we're watching Rainer Clem. It's a fucking crazy world that we live in. Honestly, man, if you would behave like that in real life, you go down to your city center and you're just like, Hey, Max Pax, you need to practice more. Like, you get locked up, sir. They would actually consider you insane. The mental asylum is two blocks away. Because it's Twitch yet, there's people like, oh, yeah, that's fine. Rainer is going for a bit of a run by, trying to outmaneuver this army of Clem. Clem is just uh, happy to snipe units all day, every day. Just does not want to get fungled. He knows that. That's why he's scanning non-stop. He's going to activate personal cloaking. A couple of the ghosts do end up dying. 15 SCVs do end up dying too. Rainer is so rich now, by the way. I feel like he never really run out of resources. Clem needs to keep on scanning, but he missed that one. So the fungo connects. The ravagers are here. Corrosive connects with a couple of the ghosts. I don't think Clem is about to die, but obviously this was scary for him. Uh, Rainer might actually be quote unquote winning for the first time. Rainer might this be winning. 200 supply, 5,000 minerals, 2,000 gas. I was probably wondering what the hell did I do wrong then? Wasn't I winning? I was like, yeah, kind of were. He's still building six liberators at a time and five goals at a time. We have a fusion core, but he never got advanced ballistics. And I hope for Clem's sake that he is going to pick up on this in the near future. More goals getting surrounded. I'm super happy there are no re uh, vipers around with parasitic bomb. Because he's now safely able to pick up all these units. Hmm. I mean, this game Rainer didn't make too many links in the beginning. He has now lost 200 links and it's probably indeed time for adrenal glands when you have this much money in the bank. And you're making this many links. So yeah, <laughs> maybe you were right, one child, after all. Thank you to whoever is the sweet anonymous individual gifting a sub to Max Packs. 
Rainer lost 10 drones there. Clem has done a good job in rebuilding the gulls. Clem does realize that he's forgetting a very important upgrade. That upgrade being advanced ballistics. Rainer sending it through a lot of circles. That can't possibly be the play. If this is the play, guys, I truly want to turn back the hands of time. Gets a couple of the Corruptors, gets maybe one or two goals, but lost a, uh, a lot of very expensive units. And has now lost 13,000 resources more. Mm. Clem's army looks great. Rainer still did not fire up those Adreno up, uh, glands that you guys mentioned, right when I mentioned it. He does fire them up. Clem is advanced ballistics is about to finish up. Rainer has a big counter attack, but I kind of want to show you guys what's going to happen here first. Couple veins do connect. What are these links doing then? Getting obliterated by at least one widow mine, but uh, multiple widow mines. What's happening over here with the ghosts? Clem forced the micro back. I mean, it's just chaos. Whenever these two guys play each other, you do really need multiple observers because there are three or four screens now where units are attacking one another. As Reyna picks up another lip in the center of the map. Obviously he's going to burrow a couple of these legs as well, making it so hard for Clem to clean all of this up. Clem is even going to get the fancy medevac upgrade. You do see his reactor. Reyna getting very close to a planetary fortress right now, but apparently that won't stop him at first. He's going to pay somewhat hefty price. He's baiting. Infester on the high ground. Infester gets revealed and gets killed. Does Clem know that Reyna is mining at this base? Yeah, he kind of does now with the sensor tower. A 22 minute game, game 2 of the grand finals here, European Pro 2 Weekly number 219, brought to you by ESL, Clem and Reynor are giving it their all. Reynor was in all sorts of trouble for the longest time, nice scan, nice EMP by Clem. And Clem really is battling for every single thing that he is worth, Reynor is doing his best to break him, does not break him. And Clem, after seeing those drones, mine on the sensor tower, says, All right, I'm going to need a couple of marines. That base belongs to me. Rainer is obviously going to run out of bases that he can eventually take. Hmm. Hmm. Bit of friendly fire there, but the Widow Mine shots are still good. Lips is seizing up advanced ballistics all the way. Widow Mine fires. Boom, 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 boom. Ghost trying to do that thing. I don't think that the Ultras will ever really shine here near those uh, planetary fortresses. And obviously we got Lips still covering the Ghost as well. A little while ago there was a 13,000 units lost uh, difference. It's kind of still the same, 13,000. That can make Clem super happy. Clem is supposed to find better and better traits. And I do think Clem is doing great. But I've also thought Clem was doing great since minute 5. We are now in minute 24. One might ask, Ruddy, for how long does he need to continue to do great to win? Uh, another three minutes, guys. 26 minutes and 47 seconds into the game, this one will be over. Risky prediction, but I'll take it. We have a nuke landing in the top right side. Rainer has found the right dot. And he's not going to lose too many drones. we will lose two of them due to long distance mining. And Clem's army is in mental. 21 goes. Blackjack. Sport roller moving is going to give Rainer detection. Hopefully for Rainer he will kill that ghost in time. Close call. We could even hear the sound already as we have some friendly fire on top of Medivac, Vikings and Ghost. But the units survive and that's often all that really matters for Liquid Clum. These units do survive. Clum not thinking about taking that base in the bottom side of the map. I almost think, wouldn't it be easier for him to take this base? But maybe Clem thinks that it's way easier to just stay where the planetaries are and focus on one spot of the map. I think I kind of like it actually. 50 army supply lead at this point. Very fun game where Rainer had a rough start, was in all sorts of trouble, pulled out all the stuff to just survive. And after he survived, he was able to turn it into a game. At one point, was rich, maxed out. Never quite winning. Was close to winning. Never quite winning. Always looking for that extra fungal. Clem has not seen it yet. That's a sweet fungal. But can we capitalize on it? No. It's a decent amount of ghosts that die. Not all the ghosts, though. Tiny Ling run by happening as well in the natural. Shouldn't do too much. The Ling's attack so quick once they have Adreno Glens. But Clem has got building armor. Nathanius would be proud. This is a really good game. It's 
not the first really good game that these two guys have had on Equilibrium. <laughs> Clem left like five Widowmines behind there. And Rain has got only one Overseer. Only one Overseer against this many Widowmines. That Overseer is with the main army. Rainer trying to get another surround on the goals. That Overseer has now died. That means Rainer can't kill what he can't see. The investors have died. No fungals have connected. And that will do it. I said 26 minutes right and 37 seconds. I think it might be a little earlier than that. But not a whole lot earlier. Because Rainer might get some hope out of this Ling run by. The win streak ends here. That's what Clem says. Last week a 3-0 for Rainer in the Grand Finals. This week a 1-0 lead. Clem says, not today, sir. You win on my map, Oceanborn? No, I'll strike back on Equilibrium. I'm actually very close with my prediction, right? I said 26, 37 or something. One more fungal will land, but the girls are too strong. They will not die. These Ultras will die. Rainer is out of money. Ultras are stuck. They are POWs behind enemy lines. Was I off by like five seconds? Man, I'm a goat. <laughs> this is Liquid Clum. And he ties things up. Beautiful game on Equilibrium. In the top left side of Hartlet, we are looking at the main base of the Italian Stallion trying to defend his title from last week and winning back-to-back -back weeklies for the first time in almost 200 weeks. This is Basilisk Rainer. Last time he won two weeklies in a row was edition number 23 and 24, I believe. Bottom right side, we are looking at the main base of the guy that everyone is talking about. The one, the only, your Atlanta champ. Liquid Clam. <laughs> Clam opening up with a Reaper and SCV. He would love to block this hatch, but he is a split second too late. So Reyna gets a very quick third hatch. That does mean that maybe that one of the queens is a tiny bit later. I don't know how that really works, but... Let's see if Rainer can keep his drones alive. Clem with the body block, right-clicking the Reaper next to the drone. So Clem off to a flying start here. It always feels great as a Terran. If you kill one of the first drones, he's going to be happy with that. Rainer is going to try to drop a Creep Tumor, but obviously does not want to lose it. The little dance here between these two. Rainer wants to drop the Creep Tumor. Clem wants to kill it. <laughs> I would be floating 900 minerals if this is happening. Even though you don't mine minerals that quick right now. Rainer does finally feel that this is the moment. And he gets it up. Clem was close to actually getting the denial there, but he won't get it in the end. That's funny, man. Everything matters on this level. Even getting a creep tumor down. <laughs> no. We're not going to do this, protagonist. That was just very weird. That was mega weird. Hard games, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> exactly, Meta Chauva. You know the memes, mate. Hard games. Classic. We love Pioti. A while ago, Clem found a lot of success against Rainer, just kind of yellowing the first two Hellions and the Reaper into the natural. He has an interesting follow-up, by the way. Marauder, concussive shells, hello. I haven't seen this in forever. This often leads into like one medevac that picks up a couple of marauders. Those marauders show up with concussive hellions, morph into hell bats. We don't have an armory yet, but we'll probably get an armory real soon. I haven't seen this build in a little while. Oh. I have not seen this build that uh, frequently over the last few months. I know that some people really hate any hell bat opening. I am kind of neutral in that regard i just like seeing different stuff right so i always love seeing a build that we used to see then we don't see that much anymore i don't know if clem picked up on something that reyna likes to do maybe he feels that reyna is going to be a greedy boy when he opens up like this where there won't be a bailing nest there won't be a roach warren there won't be a sacrificial overlord in the main first map was oceanborn yeah that's correct Rainer doesn't really notice yet, guys, and he's getting spore crawlers right now. And this is the first time that Rainer sees it. I was going to follow his camera for a little bit, but that is unnecessary. So Clem gets the triple kill. Medivac is low on HP, but Clem just very casually kills three queens. 
That means that Rainer is now going to have a hard time killing this many Hellbats and the Marauders. Clem has gone with only two Marauders, but that's still good enough to slow one or two Queens down at a time. Obviously, Rainer wants to snipe the Medivac. Once you snipe the Medivac, eventually this push gets cleaned up. Medivac gets picked off, but it's still so many Hellbats. Is Clem cooking here, guys, or will Rainer still be able to turn this into something? Rainer feels that this is the moment to go for it with the links. He's moving these links back and forth, but he is still losing so many. Gets the cleanup in the end, though, without a single bailing, without a single roach, and I find that very, very impressive. That was insane. How he did that? Like moving the links in, out, in, out from two different angles. It's fucking crazy. Very impressive by Rainer. Still think Clem dealt a decent amount of damage, right? 40 Zerklings went down, 5 Queens went down. I think we can consider that a success. Rainer drops the Spire in the back of the main. Look at my boy Non Nimba. Trying to show some love to the Roddy. I appreciate it, mate. It's very sweet of you. Mm -hmm. Lamb throws down a scan, pushes back the creep a little. Bailing Ness gets splinted down for Rainer. Clem does not know about the Spire yet. I do think this is around the time that he should kind of pick up on that. And 63 SCVs, Marines, Widow Mines. Even if Clem doesn't really know yet, I don't think it's a problem that he doesn't know because he's building units that are good against Mudas anyway. The only thing that you obviously want to do if you would be 100% certain is Mudas get one missile turret per mineral line. I think one turret per mineral line is awesome. Tastosis did that work, making people hate Hellbat openings. I know that Nate really hates the Hellbat opening. <laughs> I don't know if he hates the Marauder version too, but I know that he's not a believer in the regular Hellbat opening. Marine swimming forward, gunning down a few more queens. Rainer needs Banelings desperately. These Banelings, by the way, are going to be slow Banelings and slow Banelings against Liquid Clum. Have they ever connected with anything? Slow Bane, show up! And Clemens is gonna pick up for now, splits the Hellbats a little bit. I mean, Raiders is kinda dead now. He has Mudas on the other side of the map, but these Mudas are gonna be dealt with with just the reinforcements. Armory is still online from the early game, so Widowmines are permanently cloaked, and I think Game 3 is just... There is no other way to put it. Rainer gets a few more SCVs, but in return he's going to lose so many more Zerklings. He's already lost almost every single queen, now lost every single queen, losing a few more links. 13 queens have died. In an 8 minute game, even the Baneling Nest gets sniped, guys. The Baneling Nest gets sniped before Baneling Speed is done. Couple Muda still trying to create chaos on the other side of the map, but obviously as a Terran you can't crank out a bunch of Marines at once. Widowmines connect with the Middleist. And 25 SCVs died, but I still think that this game is over. I think this game belongs to the one and only. Rekordmeister of the European Pro Tour Weekly. Trying to get revenge for last week. Picking up a few more Marines, few more Mudas. And after 8 minutes, it is all. Claymo. These are two of the best video gamers on the planet. And they can beat each other in any given day. Round 4. Fight. Top right side, one map away from getting revenge from that 3-0 defeat the last week in the Grand Finals of the Weekly and adding another victory to his already incredibly impressive resume. The Frenchman, the one, the only... Liquid Glam. <laughs> Bottom left side, playing a good Finals, I think, if you ask me. Game 1, obviously, he was fantastic. I think Game 2, he played really good from an almost impossible spot. Uh, and made it a game, just couldn't quite close it out. Game 3, yeah, that wasn't really it. But that happened. He was surprised by the attack of the Hellbats and the Marauders. Not a build that Clem does very often. So, I still think a good finals by him so far. Representing Basilisk, the Italian Stallion, Rainer. Hmm. Twig Billy. Go Bills. Buffalo Bills. Go Falcons, mate. When does the NFL start again? It's like a couple months, right? Starting like September or something? August, September? Oh, I'm looking forward to it. The score is obviously on the screen, 2 to 1. Yeah, but 
the two minute delay mate is just the way it is those are the rules i can obviously just be grateful that esl runs this tournament every single week and i am yeah, and that they gave me the opportunity to watch these games hang out with you guys i think we have really built something up over the last three four years almost every single monday i'm here you guys know that i'm here i do not love the two minute delay i think it's a bit excessive 90 seconds would accomplish the exact same thing i would almost say even a minute does but it's okay it is what it is we're used to it we can change it we've tried to change it, it doesn't work so now we just gotta roll with it I feel like it still works for the Monday. I wouldn't want to cover another tournament with delay, but for the Monday, it kind of works. Oh. Clem gets close to killing a drone. Don't forget, last game he did kill a drone very early on. But last game, Rainer also managed to get that hatch right before the SCV was there to block it. This game, Rainer is not able to do that. Last game, Rainer was able to protect the strip tour. Now he is close to losing it, but he does save it once more. Clem, however, did not overstep his boundaries and did not lose the Reaper. So, I don't know how Reyna feels about this. I guess better. Gets the Crypto down, saves the drone. Clem will once more go for the two Cyclones that he had on Equilibrium. So. I'm playing a dangerous game here, but if there's anybody confident with a low HP Reaper in range of Zerg units, it's gotta be Claymore. Mm. Two Cyclones into Hellions, and then we're just gonna play, I think, a relatively normal game. Does Reina see this? Not yet, but Reina's got Zerg Link speed, got some creep, got Queen's Links. I feel like this shouldn't be as bad as it was in Equilibrium. September. September is pretty far away. That's okay. We have the European Championships of Football to look forward to, guys. That's gonna be fun. And it will be happening while we have Home Story Cup as well, so that's fucking good. I can make fun of the Germans in person about how much the team sucks. Couple of queens on the edge of creep. Rainer sending his links to the other side of the map. I hope Rainer knows what he's doing because this fight is not quite working out. But if the links are amazing on the other side of the map, it might still be okay. In the end, Rainer saves two out of four queens, kills these units. But seems like his links did very, very little. So he does clean this up, but didn't really do anything with his zerklings on the other side of the map. And now that the dust has settled after the early game, Reyna loses two queens, 19 links, kills two cyclones, two hellions, and a couple of marines. I would not love it if I was Reyna. I think Reyna was hoping for like five plus SCVs there and then obviously stabilize at home. Ling run by number two as the Hellions are on the other side of the map. This one should have more potential. Oh, Clem not paying attention, guys. That was pretty much the only firepower that he had. So now he's forced to fight all of these links with his SCVs. And that is so damn painful for Claymore. He's got Hellions in the back of the main. But I bet he wishes he had these Hellions at home. Okay, he's killing a little bit more than I thought he would. But still, like that's 21 SCVs. Uh, Rainer has 12 links left. They are still on the other side of the map. They're working on depots right now, and he's just rallying more and more. Clem kills 9 drones. Clem will make it... Nope, not 10, just 9. 15 work elite for Rainer. That's big. Oh, Clem. But Clem wishes he would have just had a wall off, because then that would have done almost nothing, and his Hellions would have maybe done game-ending damage. Now it's Rainer who does way more economic damage. Rain is gonna be happy with that. 18 work elite, double Evo up and running. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure about this run by, I think. Eventually, uh, Clem is going to be ready for it when he's just a two base Terran. Rainer cooking. Can Clem uh, turn this around? I don't think that the advantage is big enough that we can say Rainer is done he's won it clem is dead i do think rainer is in an amazing spot i'm sure that most of you guys would agree with me oh. 
Well, the rest of it gets picked off. Clem unloads his marines on the low ground. Was maybe looking for a cancel in the hatch, but there is no hatch tree there. Not really any place that Clem can unload these units. And loses another SCV that came out of this command center. So no minus two. Absolutely OG. OG, rather. I gotta slow down a little bit on my uh, shit talk about the German national football team. Since I know that we're gonna do a practice match soon of the Netherlands against Germany. And a lot of our good players are injured. Netherlands might lose. And I do not want to have to deal with obnoxious Germans. But it's okay. Germany still sucks. Hopefully our B team can beat them. <laughs> Clem loses four more SCVs. Rainer obviously absolutely cooking. 1-1 one, one upgrades. Posturing for another Ling run by. But Clem is kind of ready for this. He's got a tank. He's got another tank rolling out. There are some moments where sometimes if Rainer has a great start, he maybe doesn't quite run up the way that he should be running up. He could still be in a bit of trouble. Ooh. Queens through the speed zone. What? How fast are those balls? Do I have it? Anywhere? Where are those balls? Oh my, how fast are those balls? What? Yeah, balls are fast. Queens through the acceleration zone. Very fast too. Lena gunning down a medevac that seemed like it was going to be out of reach. Infestation pit halfway uh, done. Rain on 75 drones. Obviously looking for hive tech. Probably plays ultras here. Oh. Right, when I say that he drops the Hydrolis then, so probably doesn't play Ultras here. Mm -hmm. I think Clem still has a slight chance, yeah. I, I don't really count Terrans out too quick. I, I don't think that TVZ is an imbalanced matchup. I really believe that the better player wins way more often than not. And it's not just about the better player, but who brings it, right? Because both Clem and Raynor and guys like Saro, Maru, they're all excellent. It just comes down to who brings it more in the heat of the moment. Or on any given day, because StarCraft 2 is brutal, and if you're not at 100%, you can just lose. It has nothing to do with balance. However, I do think that Terran is more likely to make great comebacks than Zerg. I think if Zerg starts falling behind, in certain scenarios, it's very easy to call a game over, because you just know that certain Zerg armies won't make those great comebacks. I think Terrans have a... Bigger chance, better chance at making great comebacks. That doesn't make the matchup imbalanced. That just, that's just the way that the cookie crumbles. So that's my opinion. You guys are allowed to have your own. Hivetech is going to finish up for uh, Rainer. Clem does have 119 army supply. Rainer's got the 2 2 upgrades already. Clem does not. These are some good tank spots, by the way, because I do think those tanks will be able to participate in the fight. But Rainer kind of jumps the gun and just sends Baneling forward immediately. And those Banes did connect with some of the Marines. And Clem could really use 2 2 upgrades here. And I'm keeping my eye on that minimap as well because Clem still has a bunch of Marines at the bottom. It is all out. A three base. Good old eight Rex. Big Gabe would give this build the stamp of approval. Clem has a couple of... Um, oh, the tanks killing each other. Friendly fire as there's a Ling Bane uh, surround from Rain. I think is excellent. And Well, if it is a three base all in, guys, this is not the way that your three base all in is supposed to look. Even though a couple of the Marines do survive. Liberated Siege up, but losing all the tanks is so painful. Clem does still have these units. Look like he F2'd them there a little bit. Rainer is now also F2ing maybe a couple of Bailings to the front. As Rainer is just like, what the hell? I killed your tanks. You still have so many Marines. Clem steams forward, kills the hatchery. He's now also killing drones. Very rare moment where I feel like you saw both of those guys use F2 for a split second. Clem does use it a little bit more. Clem gets both hatcheries. Now it's three base against three base. However, it's still high tech. If, the, if this was a different kind of game, I'd be like, oh, this is really bad for uh, Reyna, because nobody ever wants to be a 3-base Zerg. But I think if you're a 3-base Hive Tech Zerg, and you've got Vipers out, then only Marine Tank Liberator is beatable. Lurkadang goes down, but Clem obviously 
more than back into it. I'm surprised because it started off so good and there were even a couple of banelings in that speed zone. Raina says maybe another counterattack. Clem says not today. There has been a fourth command center that got dropped. I guess in the main where they were dropping up in front of the third. Clem now gets the bad news that Vipers are out. And that means that normally these supplies would favor the Terran. Now I actually think it's all right for Raina. And this Clem really does need to respect the Vipers. <laughs> this uh, this hatch is a bit of a pipe dream. Rainer has another counter attack. I feel like there was maybe some potential there, but Rainer wants to use these units over here at the bottom side. Parasitic bombs getting spammed in the middle of these medevacs. But good micro by uh, Claymaw. Goes very far forward. There's still Creeper. It didn't even scan, but actually pretty decent trades for the Terran so far. Rainer needs to be careful. Does send a couple of links on top of these. I want to say SCVs, but Clem left a Marauder and a few Marines behind. That is beautiful positioning. And now Clem is going to do Clem things where he just snipes every single Bailing that comes within reach. This hatchery is somehow still coming online. Five Lurkers on the way. Lurkers will not have any of their beautiful Lurker upgrades. Maybe that wasn't the best spot to put your uh, Medivac. That was going to die. If you cast Parasitic Bomb on a unit and that unit dies, the para bomb will stay active where the unit dies. So, since that medevac died right next to the lip, the lip is actually going to take some damage. Seismic spines on the way. Rainer goes seismic spines before speed. Feels that range is everything here. The three vipers have been the absolute MVP, and Rainer is trying to make sure that we don't turn it into the Rainer, where he loses the vipers. So far, he's done a super good job, I think, with those three units. Loses one of them, but. Absolute value out of all three. Clem, don't pull a demo. There's a reason why our good friend Benjamin Baker is playing with elephants right now. And no longer Starcraft 2. That is because he could keep on steaming into this. Do not pull a demo. He doesn't. Not yet. Barrel banglings. Clem avoids them. What's the thing about F2? F2 is a select all army units. So basically every single unit that's out on the map got selected so if you have to a move all of your units will run to a certain place and they will attack clem gets a pretty decent trade here by the way i'm surprised because those links have good upgrades too there were hydras and queens helping out rainer is maxed out seismic spines done adaptive talents on the way what a game cannot believe that this is now turning into a somewhat normal game i do think it's a normal game that looks very good for rainer because Rainer has survived the scariest part. He has been able to rebuild the hatcheries that he lost. He's been able to keep them alive. He even has the top left right now. And he's got Vipers. He's got Lurkers with both of the upgrades. It is starting to look like this is going to go to game 5. Clem does not have a Ghost Academy, guys. He's got no Liberators. I mean, this is just not a good army for Clem against Rainer's army. Rainer is way further along in the game than Clem is. And he's gonna fight. Okay, maybe not a bad fight here for Clem at first, but eventually you need to disengage. Clem did as good as he could there, and he's still in trouble. Now we have more Lings and Lurkers and Hydras running into a setup. We have a missile turret here to get some detection. Clem looks at his army, thinks maybe I can engage it. He comes in from two different angles. Sick fights by Clem, man. <laughs> Clem was just kind of supposed to die there, guys, to a far superior army. This kid is so good at video games. And now he kind of... Well, I, this is actually the most impressive thing of this entire Grand Final so far. The lurkers at the bottom. Lurkers at the top. I think they might be on hold position now. That was incredibly well done by Clem. Because now he buys time for his own uh, ghost to come out. We have three ghosts now. It's not necessarily amazing yet, but... He's kind of supposed to die there. <laughs> Super impressive. Super, super impressive. Hmm. I think the Lurkers are on whole position. Rainer has set up a trap. But I feel like Terran players are so tempted to scan these days because they're traumatized by the Burrowed Infestors. Sam has a couple of units in the top side of the map. He wants to battle the Queens. Queens are good in the early game, but once Bio gets amazing upgrades, so obviously not that good anymore. Uh, missile turret. Uh, Rainer, you're going to have to move your Lurkers, mate. Does he see it? Yeah, he sees it. Rainer, you're gonna have to move the lurkers. Uh -huh. 
He activates them right before that missile turret comes online. That's a really cool play as well by Raynor. Now Clem is like, what the fuck? They're already there? Yes, they were there all along. And right when Clem tries to take that base with the very rich Vespine guys, uh, Raynor is here to deny it. And Clem is trying to get some value out of his ghost. So many lurkers and there are not that many ghosts yet. Getting two kills, but Rainer says, all right, while you're busy dealing with those lurkers, let me go ahead and strike while my iron is still hot. And he gets on top of the third, blows up SCVs, gets a couple of the depots. Does not get those medevacs. Clem, there are banelings still in the mix here. There's a couple of burrowed banelings as well. Clem is obviously in trouble. He's still trying to stabilize. He has 94 army supply. If he doesn't step on those banelings, maybe he still has a chance. What's happening over here? Lurk is still getting picked off one by one. Clem does not know about these bird banings. Throws down another scan over here at the bottom. Still busy cleaning up these lurkers. <laughs> this has been going on for so long. And the girls have been forced to use all their energy. This really is a fantastic finals. Absolutely stunning performance by both of these guys. Once more showing us that they are eventually very, very evenly matched. Uh, look at this. Boxer would be so proud of this. Clem, oh my goodness, I love it. Good and Rainer says, all right, mate. It seems like that really took a lot of APM. Let me go ahead and get on top of your third base one more time. As uh, Lings and Banes make it up this ramp. Not sure if the Hydras can really stay around here. I mean, very obvious that Rainer just wants to end this game. And with Barrel Bane connections like that, Rainer is very close to ending this game. Clem has eight goals and not a power bomb goes down. Clem finds the right medevac immediately, splits it off. See, <laughs> That's so good. Oh, these kids are so good. 111 supply in the end for Clem. 195 for Reina with money in the bank. For a split second, it looked like there was hope for uh, Clem in this game. But in the end, Reina is just too damn good to let a lead like this slip away. He's got Adrenal Glands, he's got Hydras, he's got Lynx, he's got Lurkers. He's going to pick off another tank. And it seems like the man from Basilisk is going to send us to game 5. What map will that be? Maybe Site Delta? Maybe El Sione, actually. Probably El Sione, if I have to make a guess. I think Reyna hates Site Delta these days. Somebody is lagging these games. Clem cannot be bothered with the lag spider. He is too far behind. After 19 minutes and 40 seconds, he is going to wrap it up. Game 5, guys. A grand finals in the weekly that goes all the way. It has almost been a six-hour tournament. <laughs> Clem versus Rainer for six, or after six hours of video gaming, and it all comes down to this. Final round, fight! Two minutes into El Sirene, in the top right side, going for a Reaper fast expand on the low ground into a Marine, very standard opening. Coming out of this man, the one, the only. Liquid Clam. <laughs> And as the clock strikes midnight, or almost strikes midnight, we are looking at the main base of the Italian Stallion. Had to work way harder for it this week than he did last week. But can he be a back-to-back -back champ for the first time in over three years? Raynor. Will it be another one for Clem? Or will it be back-to-back -back victories for Raynor? I'll do it, JJ Farmville, after this game, mate. I don't want to alt tap right now, but... I always do it, and even if I forget, I do it the following day when I complete all the requests. Hmm. Triple CC opening for Clem, so... Clem is not tired yet. He's probably happy. He's like, cool, now I only need to wait a couple minutes until the American Weekly starts, and I can try to win that one too. If there is an American Weekly, I don't know if they do it tonight, because there is obviously that problem with custom games. Maybe that's, maybe that's the battle net upgrade. Ah, uh, maybe Bellonet is fixing that uh, custom game error. Or it's something else, I don't know, but... And my toddler wants to spin in your chair, can you just go around one time? I can't do that, mate, because I have earbuds and then I would break my entire setup. You ask me the next time, I'll do it for you. We're not gonna do that now. Do you guys know that Instagram account of that lady who always does the, the spinning chair thing with her legs? For some reason, I don't follow her, but that keeps on getting promoted on my channel. And then you watch it once, and then Instagram is like, Oh, you like the spinning chair? Here it is again. She's got one blue eye and one brown eye. 
And this is just tell stories in her chair. Longest EPT Europe ever? No, it's not the longest. We used to have, I think, best of five semifinals as well. And I think there were days that I sat here till like 1 a.m. I'm honestly very happy that we don't have to do that anymore. That's it's a bit much, man. It's like six hours of non-stop talking. You're by yourself. And of course, sometimes you can get a co-commentator. Sometimes you can't. It's also for the players. It's like we're not playing for thousands of dollars. It's a couple hundred bucks. It should be fun, competitive, but it shouldn't go on forever. I think six hours is is already pushing it a little. Still, like four or five hours is kind of the sweet spot. Once you're entering hour six, kind of pushing it. Well, Lair gets fired up for Rainer. Four minute Lair. As he has taken the third base at the nine o'clock base. Drops the Bailing Nest as well. Might be a little concerned about another Hellbat push. That reminds me, why do we get two countdowns at the end of the stream? You mean the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1? Yeah, I can probably just count down from 10, but... I think I just started with that a long time ago, but then I was like, sometimes the delay is a bit longer than 5 seconds, so for safety I'll do it again. <laughs> because my uh, if I rate Im immediately, then I get cut off mid-sentence, so I just kind of like to do a countdown so everybody knows that this is truly the end of the stream, and... I don't leave anybody hanging in the middle of a sentence. Goodbye. End of stream. That's why I do that. I should probably just count down from 10. This is my little tradition. Let me have it. <laughs> if you watch on an iPad or an iPhone, your stream is like 12 seconds behind. For some reason. Is Clem in Rainer's head? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like they're in each other's head. They know each other very well. Clem throws down uh, the scan, kills a couple of trip tumors, and gets an overlord. The overlord is kind of a bonus. So far, a perfect game by Clemar. Has only made two Hellions this game, by the way. So basically, F it. It's not about the Hellions this time. Getting a pretty early second factory. Building some tanks. Hasn't really seen, I think, what he needs to see yet. Playing it safe. Clem really is playing this uh, this one incredibly cautious. Does not want to die to something silly. Of course, the same goes for Rainer. As one of the queens does get picked off. Clem now loses his first marine. Also, Yolo seems a couple of marines on trip. Trying to get on top of the fourth base, but Rainer has Lings and Banes nearby. Uh. Rainer is fifth base on the bottom side of the map, a tiny bit of trouble, but Clem so good off creep. It is so unlikely for Bainings to connect with his units. The kid very rarely makes a mistake, snipes a few more units, in the end is forced to pick these units up, but he's obviously going to be happy with that delay that he costs. Now picks up all the units, pretends that he goes into the main, but it's a juke. Rainer did have an overlord there though. They're still battling on the top side of the map as well. Rainer is forced to transfuse the queens to make sure that they can stay alive. Clem sniping more Banes. Clem is fucking on point here. Whew. Thank you to DKH is sub. I appreciate it. <laughs> For the six months. Hype of hype. Didn't quite get the hype train, but over the entire night, a lot of nice comments. Couple primes, couple subs. Couple gifted subs, we'll take it. 20 buckies. Hey. Not all that shabby. More countdowns for your money. <laughs> no, it, it, it's just because I don't want to. I watched a couple of my own VODs. Because sometimes I want to see if I miss something in chat. And then I realize that I end my streams in the middle of a sentence. That's the whole story behind the double countdown. <laughs> Rainer has a Lynx and Banes on trip. As he connects with a couple of the Marines. But I love the tank positioning here by Clem. Clem has honestly done almost everything right in this game. Now, since Rainer is an animal, sometimes even if you do everything right, that is not necessarily enough to just walk away with the victory, but I do feel that Rainer needs to start getting some victories. And so far, it kind of feels that this is a one-sided affair, and it is all Clem, as a few Banelings do blow up the Widow Mines. 
But there is still so much there and left. Rainer has Hive Tech now, right? Yes. Hive Tech is done. Lurker then gets planted down, but Clem is also dropping in the bottom side of the map. Bailing count only 10. Is 10 bailings enough to keep Clem at bay? Probably not. That's why Rainer is getting a few more. Man, they're playing so fucking fast. What the hell? Clem is insanely good this game. <laughs> and the fact that Rainer is still in it just goes to show that Rainer is also inc insanely good in this game, but. Rainer needs a victory. He needs a big victory somewhere. A couple of paintings connecting with a clump of marines getting on top of the tanks. Anything. Anything you can think of. The Italian Stallion needs it. For his first back-to-back -back victory in over two... No, not 200 weeks, but almost 200 weeks. Gets a couple of nice connections there, but obviously now has to worry about this drop. On the top left side of the map, Clam does a very good job picking up a few more marines. Still dropping in the bottom side of the map as well. It's, what the hell was that? I guess that was the Queen that just popped out. As Widowmines are now connecting with Queens, left, right and center. Rainer down, 36 army supply. And counting, there are still more Widowmines here that haven't fired yet. Maybe Rainer was hoping for friendly fire. Gets some of that, cleans up the Marines. Clem still, this is like the fastest game I've seen between these two in a while. But in the end, Clem got that hatch at the bottom side of the map. Rainer now queues up 14 Hydras. As he realized that he just needs firepower, but Clem is unstoppable, still in his face. He doesn't start up 3-3 attack, only plus 3 armor. So many mines, by the way, there are 14 mines. It's very quick, second factory coming in play. It is Widow Mine Galore, 4th of July over here for the friends. As a uh, French, rather. <laughs> in France. As Rainer is now starting to run out of steam, losing all these screens is problematic. Couple Hydras, couple Bailings, I just can't imagine. That this is what Rainer had in mind, but he does still have 85 drones. Holy smokes. An absolute hurricane of a game 5 here on El Cyane. Rainer survives until Lurkus. If Rainer wins this game, guys, I'll be so, so, so fucking impressed. And I know that kid has impressed us many times, but... I've rarely seen anybody survive this amount of aggression coming out of Clem. As more Bainings get sniped, more Hydras get blown up. Couple of lurkers in the mix, Raina trying to drag the overseers above the Terran armies. A few of them did some friendly fire, but Clem is still here with so many units. It wouldn't be raining though if not a few more Banelings show up. Those Baneling connectors were not bad, but the Widow Mines are still there. The safety tanks on the low ground are still there. Marauder is still doing their thing. I'm not sure if two lurkers are going to be good enough. Clem still dropping as well in the back of the 9 o'clock base. It seems like the medevac died, the two Marines survived. What a game, what a performance. Man, if Clem plays like this, I just don't see any Zerg on the planet beating him. I don't know if you can always play like this, but... <laughs> An inhuman game 5 by Clem. This is stunning. Lost for worse. El Cyane belongs to Clem, and it seems like this edition of the European Pro Tour Weekly belongs to Clem as well. As he steams forward one more time, he gets the Lurkers, he gets the Queens, and GG gets called. What a fucking game 5 by Clem. I mean, mental. Incredibly fast, incredibly accurate. How do you deal with that? How on earth do you deal with that? A 12-minute game, and Rainer has lost 11,000 resources more. Unbelievable. Clem wins the European Pro Tour Weekly number 219. A great weekly, an epic finals. It is 10 minutes past midnight. Rainer played damn well, battled his heart out, but in the end, Clem... A bit too much to deal with today.